So I want to talk about why love will never be blind, especially for men, and why I think that blind dating shows are a setup for women. And of course, this video is inspired by season six of Love is Blind on Netflix. And this will not be a review of the show, but I just want to point out some things that I haven't heard anyone say and some things I think women need to hear both about the couples on the show and the show in general. The first thing I want women to understand if you don't already is that shows like Love is Blind and Married at First Sight, they are not truly about encouraging people to look past appearances and learning to love someone solely for them and not what they look like. Regardless of if it's what they say it's about, that's not what it's about. They know that to most people, attraction is very important when dating and it's especially important to men. And that isn't gonna magically change because they get to know a woman for a few weeks and fall in love with her beautiful personality. I'm not saying that it's impossible or it never happens, but it is rare. For most men, a woman's personality comes second to her looks. So these shows where people are blind dating for an extended period of time and quote unquote falling in love without seeing each other are designed to at some point make a viral storyline out of the participants who are not compatible or are not strongly attracted to one another. Without those couples, the shows would be boring to most people and not enough people would find them entertaining enough to watch. The producers of these blind dating shows know that, so they intentionally cast certain people, film them, and wait for a couple that has a lukewarm attraction to each other to give them a viral storyline. In my opinion, shows like this are a setup and especially for women. And personally, I don't like them, but I understand that it's the entertainment business and it's just what most people find entertaining but a recurring theme I'm seeing when I watch these shows is that when a couple establishes an emotional connection during their blind dates then they meet and one or both people end up not being attracted to the other or seemingly has a lukewarm attraction they end up having all of these issues that likely stem from them not being attracted to each other and they pretend on the show that it's different reasons that they don't like the other person and by no means am I saying that applies to every single couple. I think some of them are genuinely attracted to each other, but they're just incompatible in other areas. But I don't think that's true for most of the couples that don't make it. I think a lot of them pretend like they like the person's looks because they want to be nice. And then they use other incompatibilities or circumstances to justify why they can't make it work. And this is especially true for the men. And I think women especially need to be more aware of this because I'm noticing that most women don't don't realize when men have disqualified a woman in their minds due to having a lukewarm attraction to them or for other reasons like weight or being a single mother. To see my exclusive content, become a member of this channel, join my Patreon or visit ChrissyOnline.com and be sure to join the mailing list for updates on future videos. The links are in the description box. Please like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching. For example, I definitely don't think Jimmy was as physically attracted to Chelsea as he was Jessica. She complimented his looks way more than he did hers. And I think Jimmy was hyping up her looks on the show because he didn't want to hurt her feelings. Sometimes men will lie and pretend they are attracted to you more than they are. And they do that to avoid conflict. And I think that's what Jimmy was doing. And I definitely think Chelsea was insecure on her own. But deep down, she felt that Jimmy had a lukewarm attraction to her despite what he was telling her. And that made her even more insecure. And that's why I always tell women to listen to your intuition because you can't always rely on what men tell you. And of course, Chelsea wasn't honest either. She told Jimmy that people tell her she looks like Megan Fox to make him choose her. And he was clearly disappointed that she didn't look a lot like Megan Fox. And Chelsea even thinking it was a good idea to tell Jimmy that she looked like Megan Fox on a show that millions and millions of people are watching. It really showed how she lacked self-awareness about her own appearance and how she would be perceived to the audience. And I think her behavior on the show in general really highlighted highlights the inner struggles that white women go through when they don't completely fit the standard of beauty. And I'm singling out race here because people think that's just a black woman thing. It's definitely not something that only black women deal with. And even men of all races will lie on their dating profile about their height because they know that most women like tall men. And this is why I say that these shows are extremely unrealistic and intentionally setting people up because looks matter to people and they matter a lot. And if you're not attractive enough to someone, you're 
you're trying to date, how great your personality is will not matter. But I think it was obvious that Jimmy was more attracted to Jessica when he told her that she was his number one when they finally met in person. To me, that solidified that he found her to be more attractive than Chelsea. He definitely left that door open for Jessica, despite not really liking that she was a single mother. And on the flip side, I also don't think Jessica was physically attracted to Jimmy as much as he was attracted to her. And Chelsea also seemed to be more attracted to Trevor because she said that he was the type that she normally goes for. So it's clear that Jimmy and Chelsea were not each other's first choice in terms of physical attraction. And in my opinion, that was the foundation of their issues. And the same thing applies with Jeremy and Laura. He obviously had a lukewarm attraction to Laura and wanted to see what he was missing with Sarah Ann once he met Laura in person. And he ended up being more attracted to Sarah Ann than Laura, which is the primary reason he ran off with her behind Laura's back right before their wedding. The show really banks on these kind of moments happening because it's good TV. And they know it will eventually happen because in blind dating, there will always be a case where someone isn't attracted to the other person they connect with emotionally. So it's just a recipe for disaster. Now, when it comes to Clay and AD, I won't downplay the impact that Clay's family trauma had on his decision to leave AD at the altar, but I don't think that was his main reason. I personally think that Clay just hasn't found a woman that he feels is worth settling down for yet. And instead of just saying that, he's using the family trauma narrative as an out. Clay is an example of the typical high earning black man who wants the trophy wife, and we know what that looks like in the black community. In my opinion, Clay likely hasn't been able to attract his fantasy woman yet. And that is his issue. And be clear, he would have likely cheated on his fantasy woman as well. But my point is, AD is not his type enough to want to marry. And him constantly bringing up cheating and questioning if he was ready to be a husband was basically him trying to get AD to end the relationship. So he wouldn't be the one to break things off. But AD wouldn't budge because she was desperate for the fairy tale, like many women are. And Clay, he knows AD is a good woman, so he wanted to distract her. And I think he still is distracting her from finding someone who is deeply into her. I noticed on the show that he was very insecure when he found out AD made a connection with Matthew. And I think that's in part because Matthew is white and he looked very uncomfortable on the reunion when AD said that she had been on a couple of dates with Matthew. So Clay knows that AD can go outside of the race. He also knows that she can attract better than him. He doesn't fully want her, but he also doesn't want someone else to have her. And that is very common with men and especially black men. They will string women along that they don't want. And I do think Clay is sexually attracted to AD. I definitely saw some sexual chemistry on the show, but I also think he likes her personality more than he likes her looks. And he's hiding that behind his daddy issues. Like a lot of black men are with black women, I think Clay was more attracted to AD's body than her face. And ladies, you have to understand that men will lie and pretend that they are attracted to you more than they are to get sex from you. And that is what Clay did. And not to mention, Clay is a salesman. He is not stupid by any means. He knew just what to say, not to look like the typical colorist black man on TV. And it did convince some black women and it convinced AD as well. But she is a reflection of so many black women. She wants the black love fairy tale and she's limiting her options to black men only. I think she flirted with the idea of dating a white guy on the show, but she's not all the way open to it. And she still has a lot of work to do in terms of developing her self-esteem and her self-love because anytime you're still friends with a man who embarrassed you on national TV, that points to a lack of self-esteem and a low sense of self-worth. And to be honest with you, I don't think Black women should keep participating in shows like this. How many more examples do we need of Black women specifically getting embarrassed on these shows? What is it going to take for y'all to realize that they are exploiting your trauma and you're signing up to be embarrassed? And that's why I think that Black women in particular should stop participating participating because our embarrassment is almost always the main storyline and the optics are terrible. But there will always be a black woman willing to make a fool of herself on television because we have been told that it is our duty to struggle and suffer with a black man. AD represents a lot of black women and she's another example of how that mammy conditioning is very strong in us. 
we think it is our obligation to coddle and fix black men. And she also said on the show that she likes players and that is an issue with a lot of women regardless of race. Women like the idea of changing a player into a one woman man, but y'all are gonna have to realize and come to terms with the fact that we cannot change men. They have to want to change for themselves. And listen, this is not me passing judgment. Most of us have been just like AD to some extent, myself included, but I really hope that she grows from this and decides to have more respect for herself and also expand her options. And we as women need to stop being in denial about when men just aren't that attracted and come to peace with it. And when I say these kind of things, I'm always being accused of telling black women and especially dark-skinned black women that nobody is attracted to them when that isn't true. There are plenty of men who want you and are attracted to you, but a lot of the men y'all are choosing to deal with are not those men. And I'm trying to help you recognize the signs to save you from the embarrassment and also to stop black women from going going viral for completely avoidable situations. I mean, as you can see by watching this season of Love is Blind, it's not only black women who lie to themselves and date men who are not so attracted to them. This happens all the time. And I know that not everybody can date their fantasy man or woman. So if you're with someone who's not your fantasy and vice versa and it's working out, great. I think it's very possible to have a successful relationship with someone you don't typically go for physically. But if a relationship isn't working out specifically because the attraction is isn't strong enough and people are lying and making it seem like it's not working out due to other reasons, it's very important for women to recognize when that is the case, walk away and stop wasting your time. There are other fish in the sea and you can find a man who's actually attracted to you. I just don't believe in women allowing men who don't like them like that to waste their time because men will waste your time as long as you allow them to, as we can see with Clay and AD. So overall, in my opinion, Blind dating in general should be avoided, especially for heterosexual women who are not considered the standard of beauty. And that can be all races of women as you saw on this show. I recommend that you establish that a strong physical attraction on the part of the man is present before you put effort into dating him, especially if you are not exceptionally attractive. Men already come with problems, but they are generally worse when they aren't attracted to the woman that they're with or when they desire someone they perceive as being far more physically attractive than the woman that they're with. And I know that's not what many of you wanna hear, but it is the truth. Men are very visual. Love will never be blind for men. And these shows are a setup and women who participate are always at a higher risk of getting embarrassed. So keep those things in mind before applying to be on these shows or deciding to blind date in general. So that is all I have on this. Let me know what you think down in the comments and I'll catch up with you in the next video.